Democratic primary voters in Utah made history this week when they picked Misty Snow, a 30-year-old transgender woman, new to politics as a candidate who will face Republican Senator Mike Lee this fall. That makes Snow the first transgender nominee from a major party to run for a U.S. Senate seat. Snow, a grocery store cashier from Salt Lake City, now faces an uphill battle in challenging Lee, who is described by the Salt Lake Tribune as one of the most conservative senators in this country. Utah has not elected a Democrat to the U.S. Senate in nearly 40 years. Misty Snow joins us now from Salt Lake City. Thank you so much for your time, Misty. Thank you for having me. As I pointed out, the last Democratic uh, U.S. Senator, Frank Moss, um, he lost his seat to Orrin Hatch in 1976. Mike Lee won in 2010 by 60 percent, uh, more than 60 percent of the vote, I should say. Um, it's an uphill battle, but your policies and your platform, why do you believe they will resonate with the folks in your state? Well said. I'm talking a lot about uh, like fighting for like a living wage. I'm talking about you know fighting for like health care and you know uh, clean energy and you know paid maternity leave. Um, you know, the state of Utah, we actually have the nation's highest birth rate, and so a lot of people who are concerned about the, their families and uh, you know their children, uh, a lot of these policies actually resonate with a large uh, swath of voters. So you, like even like a lot of Republicans. Um, you know, that and uh, Mike Lee's hasn't been the most popular senator. He, like a recent poll showed it was only a 38% approval rating. So I think there is an opening there, and I think we're just going to do our best to, you know, get our message out there and try to say, hey, Mike Lee hasn't been doing a good job uh, representing you, and it's time for some change. You mentioned polls, an early poll in June commissioned by the Tribune in Salt Lake shows that uh, Mike Lee holds 51% to 37% lead over you. He's been called one of the most conservative senators in the country, and now he's running against the first transgender woman in a major party. It sounds like something made for a TV movie, I'll be honest with you. You could not be further apart on the ends of the spectrum here, but you don't want the historic nature of your candidacy to dominate uh, the talk of your candidacy, right? Yeah, no, that's just kind of one of those uh, facts about me. I just happen to be uh, trans, but otherwise, I'm you know I, I'm a very uh, passionate person. I care a lot about working class people, and you know, I, coming from a working class background, I feel that I could uh, be a good representative uh, to working class people in Washington. In that poll you just cited, um, having 37% of the poll uh, vote in June is actually pretty good, considering the last uh, three uh, Senate. Nominees got 30 to 32 uh, percent in the actual election results. So having 37 uh, percent is much better than Democrat Senate candidates typically do in Utah. So I think we can try to close that gap over the coming months. Missy, I'm curious how you, you know, are at home. You're thinking about the future and what you want to bring to this country. Yet you are a transgender woman. You are a cashier, which may make it more challenging than actually being a transgender woman. That you don't have a political background, but you say, you know what, I'm in. I can do it. Well said. I mean, a lot of people actually say they like that I'm from a working class background. Um, right now, Congress is disproportionately made up of uh, people that are like uh, lawyers and bankers and business owners and millionaires. A lot of them have never been poor or, or middle class. They have almost no like uh, understanding what it's like to scrape by paycheck to paycheck. And there's a lot of people all over the country who would like a more representative government who um, understands those issues and can advocate for those issues. We've not found anything from Senator Lee regarding his comments on you being a transgender woman. Are you worried at all that um, if this campaign takes an ugly turn that this will be something uh, that uh, some of the most conservative will perhaps uh, use to try and disqualify you or alienate you from voters? No, I don't think that'll be a huge uh, problem. I mean, okay. Utah kind of has this kind of a, the, it's kind of a nice population. They don't really like that kind of dirty politics uh, too much. They don't like uh, really negative campaigns, and I don't think it'll be an issue. But if he goes that direction, uh, we're prepared for it. All right, Misty, uh, thank you so much for your time. And of course, we'll continue to follow this interesting race. Uh, yet another one to discuss throughout the year. Thank you so much. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.